Good evening, everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us at our third Members Event Week um, week event. Um, I'd like to just introduce myself. I'm Jane Fagan and I'm the Associate Director of Operations for the Adult Community Services. So uh, I'm delighted to open this event this evening um, and it's been a tricky time with the pandemic and it's prevented us from hosting many of our usual members events over the last year or so. Um, and these members events have always been a really great opportunity for us to share exciting news, ideas and plans with members and partners. Um, so on that note, if you're not a member, I'd like to encourage you to visit our website uh, and find out more about the value of being a member of the Royal Surrey. So I'd like to remind you also that we will have some time for questions and answers at the end. Um, all you need to do is pop your question into the chat box on the side um, and then just press send. I will try to get around to as many questions as possible. And we have obviously our team here that will be able to respond to any of your questions. So today we're going to talk about how we care for patients beyond the walls of the Royal Surrey Hospital and into our community. And it's, it's, it's always interesting. So when people, I think more recently, think about the Royal Surrey, they think about the, the big hospital in Guildford. And actually, um, although that's a really crucial part of the trust, we also have many, many services outside of the main site, which we're going to tell you a little bit about today. So one of the uh, hospitals that we have many services running out from is Hazelmere Hospital. And at Hazelmere Hospital, we have the Minor Injuries Unit. And interestingly, just an interesting fact, well, I find it interesting because I like data, but, you know, we see about 750 patients a month through the Minor Injuries Unit. And it's really important that we remember as a community that we have this really valuable service. Um, and it really, what we want to do is keep patients away from the emergency department, if at all possible, for the real life emergencies. And that's why minor injuries is really critical for our members and for our public. We also have 43 inpatient beds across Milford Hospital and Hazelmere Hospitals. So we've got 23 at Milford and we've got 16 at Hazelmere. Now these beds are so important for us and they're really important for our patients because these are for patients who are not quite ready to go home yet and are not quite safe to go home. So we have a team of uh, professionals who are there um, who work with patients. So we've got physios, we've got OTs, and it's really important that they do everything they can to get patients ready and safe to go home. What our ethos is always in the community is home first, to keep patients at home wherever possible. Also, just a kind of another fact that I think is always quite interesting. We see about 13,500 patients a month. We do about 13,500 visits to patients' homes a month. And that's across the community service, and that includes our community and district nursing teams. Recently, we've done a big refurbishment piece of work around Cranley Hospital. Um, we've got excellent x-ray facilities, and this really serves the population of East Waverley. And also one of the other really excellent services is the new maternity hub that has just recently opened. So on that note and on that segue, I'd like to introduce to you our first presenter. So we've got Amy Stubbs, who's the Deputy Director of Midwifery and Nursing for Women and Children, and Sue McGovern, who's the Community Midwifery Team Lead. And they'll be giving us an overview of how our maternity hub teams have increased services providing holistic care to women in the community. So I'll hand over to these guys now. Thank you, Mary. Um, so, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, as Jane said, our Royal Surrey um, Maternity Services care for approximately 3,000 women and families each year. And during pregnancy, uh, labour, and postnatal periods, all women receive midwifery care. And an awful lot of this is provided in the community setting. Uh, a very small part is actually delivered in, in the hospital here. On average, uh, a woman will receive 12 to 14 appointments during her pregnancy and another three to five appointments with a community midwife after having her baby. So prior to the pandemic, um, our community midwives were based in the community and around 45 GP practices, um, which was great because they were based locally in the community. However, there were quite a lot of um, limitations to uh, delivering care in this way which included um, an awful lot of time our community midwives spent travelling between practices, 
Um, the teams worked very quite isolated. They didn't have a base where they could all come together. Um, and also for women, uh, the community midwives often felt less accessible because essentially they were based in their cars rather than uh, in a geographical location. And so, and we also had additional um, uh, reasons for wanting to look at this model and think a little bit differently about how we delivered this um, care. Um, in that there was a big national transformation agenda um, to um, think about how we should care for women in community hubs alongside wider community.